scream of bloody hell. I do not believe in the name of sanity. I do. That's it. That's just about the absolute limit of all bloody time. I mean, what we see. Hello. Yes, I'd like to speak to the manager, please, and be quick about it. Mel Drew. No, he doesn't, but he will shortly. <laughs> Hello. Is that Mr. Pete T. Sturgeon? Yes, well, it's about a large yucca plant your garden centre delivered to my house this morning. Yes, a young chap, I didn't catch his name. It may have been Frank Spencer. <laughs> well, I'll tell you exactly what the problem is, Mr. Sturgeon. I was out the back working in the garden when he arrived, so I asked him if, for the time being, he'd put it in the downstairs toilet for me. And you know what he's done? He's only planted it in the... <laughs> Anyone could have made. <laughs> Are you stark I mean, what am I supposed to do? Cock my leg against the trunk like a yacht terrier? <laughs> no, I would not. I'd do it myself, thank you very much. And in future, I suggest you try and hire some people with a bit of common sense between their ears. <laughs> downstairs toilet. <laughs> uh -huh. What in the name of bloody hell? Dinkins here, pieces of distinction? Well, that just about takes a biscuit. I mean, dropping your wig in the bloody baking dough. I mean, he must have realised it had come off, for God's sake. Well, this is just about it. This is just about all bloody time. I mean, what am I going to find next? A false arm and the French stick, glass eyes staring up at me out of the coconut meringues? <laughs> Hideous! In much more sensible way you a loaf of bread on top of your head. How anyone could... Hello! Yes, I'd like to speak to the manager, please, and quick about it. Mel Drew. No, he doesn't, but he bloody well will shortly. I'll tell you exactly what the problem is. I have just bought a large...